This is a video demonstration for how to use the advanced tools and the restore feature of RegCure Pro. These tools usually come in handy if the default scan is not able to correct your issue or speed up your computer. So if you click on the tools button on the left side, then you'll be brought to the advanced tools menu. You can see a number of tools here. We're going to go through them one by one to show you how they work. If you click on the process manager button, then you'll be shown the process manager. This will show you a list of all the processes that are currently running on your computer. If you go through this list, you can have a look and see what's running. It'll give you an idea of what's good and what isn't. Usually you don't need to worry about this part because it is a part of the default scan and it'll automatically close any malicious or unwanted processes during that part of the scan. If there's a particular item that you want to shut off in order to save performance or just shut it off, then you can click on it and click on the end process button in the bottom right. Now some of the items in this list are going to have the triangle with the exclamation mark in it. These are other items that it doesn't recognize exactly. We do know that it's not malware or unwanted, but we don't know if it's a system or a user installed process, so we identify it as other. There is also an ignore button that you can click on the bottom right in order to leave it out of the default scan in the process manager. And there is an optimize all button, which pretty much does the same thing that the default scan does, shuts off any processes that aren't needed in order for your computer to run faster. There is also a performance tab you can click on to see how much of your system resources are currently being used. The most important one is usually CPU usage. If that's maxed out all the time, then you've got too many programs running and you need to shut some of them off. There is memory usage as well. If that's maxed out all the time, then chances are you've got too many programs running and you need to shut them all off, which is, of course, why both of those metrics are listed in the process manager. Now, if you click on the Startup Manager, then you'll see a list of all the programs that are set to start up automatically when your computer starts up. As before, it gives you an idea of how useful each item is. There is the Other Items category that you can see here, which is simply not recognized as malware or any of the other system categories. Any items that are deselected will not be included next time you restart your computer. There is also the File Extension Manager. This part of the program helps you open up a file that you don't recognize or that you don't have a program for. So if you enter a file extension that your system doesn't recognize and then click on Find Software, it'll locate as many programs as it can find that are capable of opening up that particular file extension. It will prioritize free programs to the top of the list. This is pretty handy if you want to find something without spending any money. For example, if I type in .doc, you can see that OpenOffice comes to the top of the list because it is a free Office program, an alternative to Microsoft Office, if you will. And you can see if you go farther down, WordPad is available, Microsoft Office is listed as Office, and there's a number of other possible programs as well. When possible, it will also provide a download link that goes directly to that particular program. If you click on the defrag button here, then you'll be brought to the RegCure Pro defrag tool. You can click on analyze to have a look at your drive to see if it needs defragmenting. And then if it does, you can click on defragment to do so. Please bear in mind that the defrag scan takes a very long time. We recommend leaving it running overnight if your system needs to be defragged. And finally, there is the BHO Manager. This is very similar to the Startup Manager, except instead of programs that start up with your computer, it's attachments to your Internet Browser, Internet Explorer. And there is one more feature that I'm going to show you today, and that's the Restore feature that you can reach by clicking on the Restore button on the left side. And when you click that button, you're brought to the Restore Point Manager. This uses the Windows System Restore function. It'll show you a list of recent restore points on your system. You can also use the button in the bottom left to create a new restore point in case you worry that something's going to go wrong soon. Or you can use the Restore button to restore to a particular point. You can use the Remove button to remove a restore point, but we don't recommend doing that unless something's gone horribly wrong. So that concludes our video demonstration. As always, feel free to contact our support department if you need assistance or have a look at the other videos in this series.